Reese! Ah, yate! What? Oh, I'm just saying hello in my native tongue. Get the fuck out of here. Your native tongue. You still coming with the jokes? No, that's authentic as fuck, man. <laughs> I bet. Yo, when you said you were gonna be calling me, I didn't think you were gonna be FaceTiming me. I just woke up. You said I could call you now. Yeah, it's cool. I should be getting up anyway. Based on where the sun is in the sky, I'd say it is noon. It's five. PM? Yeah, man. Shit. I'm still working on my sundial skills. Why don't you just check your phone? Because I'm honing my gift. It's a talent my ancestors have passed down. I'm getting pretty good at it. You thought it was noon? I said I'm getting pretty good at it. So what, you were on the bender last night? No, no, actually I gave up drinking. Um, it was really fucking with my health. Now I just, you know, smoke the peace pipe, a little greenery. Well, we're getting older. It's important to pay attention to those things. Yeah, well, plus my ancestors had a real issue with alcohol, so I want to respect that. Did you just take an Ancestry.com test or something? <laughs> Stupid. Uh, when was the last time we spoke? Uh, a few years ago, I think. Whenever you moved out of our frat house of an apartment. Huh. Yeah, no, dude, I've been living in New York for whew, over a year now. No shit. Yeah, dude, but then when the lockdown started, I moved in with my mom and my stepdad just to take care of them. Yeah, a lot of people been moving back with their folks these days, bro. Yeah. Anyway, to what do I owe the honor of a FaceTime call? Are you collecting rent money from years ago? <laughs> Actually, I wanted to ask you about your stepdad's dentistry office in a city. A lot of dentist offices are closed because of COVID, but I got this killer cavity and it hurts like a motherfucker. And I have no dentist and no dental insurance, so um, I was hoping he could maybe see me. I could throw him a little bit of cash. I I'm not trying to oh, be dude, bothering. Dude, I just really dude no bother at all. I got you. And I mean, Robert's office is closed, but he can still see you. Um, but yeah, I mean, the dude fucking loves you. He still talks about you all the time. Really? Fuck. Thank you, man. Wow. This shit fucking hurts, so thank you. What if... Uh, I owe you. No, dude, you don't owe me shit, Kimosabi. I got you. Actually, I'm kind of glad you called. Um, I've been waking up every morning just like uh, depressing myself with like Instagram videos. Shit, yeah. it sucks. I, hear that. I mean, just the videos of George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery and the petitions for Breonna Taylor. I mean, I know. It, this is going to sound kind of fucked up, but. I don't think we'd give it the same fight for justice if we weren't in a pandemic. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about that. But the good news is we're starting to actually fight for some real changes though. I mean, the people are taking action all over the world. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, no, it's good that people are finally catching up to what I've been seeing for a while now. What do you mean? Like you've seen a lot of racism on social media. No, 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 like me personally, I've been exposed to racism. Okay, like, I've been woke for a long time, like majority of my life, really. And it doesn't really matter because we don't get real justice and change unless we all come together. And that's what my ancestors used to preach. And now we're all finally coming together. I'm sorry, your ancestors used to preach that? Yeah, Kimosabi, I've been speaking about this for the longest time. <clears throat> okay, so wait. You've said the word ancestors in this conversation more times than I've ever heard you say it since I've known you, which is zero times. And we've been boys since we've been 18. Uh, I've, I've definitely talked about my ancestors and their teachings. Since when? Since before college even, like high school at least. Nah, man, I've never heard you say any of that. Well, maybe you weren't listening. Or maybe you just started talking about it recently. Mm. No, I've definitely been speaking about this since like high school at least. But maybe you're finally recognizing your privilege. My privilege? Yeah, your privilege. I mean, dude, it's important that we all do it. I'm doing, I'm doing it right now too. Yeah, I mean, a lot of white America is doing it. Sure, yeah, but the difference is my heritage makes it far easier for me to relate to black people and their struggles. Your heritage? Yeah, my heritage. My Navajo blood makes me closer to the oppressed. Say again? I don't think I heard that right. Okay, like, 
Native Americans were oppressed, right? I mean, like, we were fucking slaughtered and treated like savages. The white man came here and they gave us disease. They raped our women. They murdered our men. And they stole our land. You know, land that we saw flourish thanks to us. Our oppression doesn't make me feel like I have privilege. Dude, you're white. Sure, but my whiteness doesn't erase my Navajo heritage, dude. Okay, wait, question. Is this your mom's heritage or your dad's? Because you've never mentioned that you had Navajo ancestry before, like ever, and we were roommates for eight years. Well, Native Americans were never really a topic of discussion, dude. You used to talk about your little sister obsessing over the fucking Pocahontas movie for like a year. Yeah, dude, that's a cartoon. We had a cowboy and Indian party, and you dress up like a cowboy, man. Wow, 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 bro. Are you kidding me? Native American, dude. I... Who in your family is Navajo? My great, 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 great grandmother was a Navajo. Okay, but I don't think that necessarily- Okay, but also, dude, I mean, look at where I grew up. Before my parents split up, we were living in a very urban community. It was ghetto. It was like ghetto as fuck. I mean, we were poor. Much like my black brothers and sisters. Have you always identified as Navajo? Yeah. yeah. So you check off Native American in the ethnicity box? I mean, do you check off Hispanic in the ethnicity box? <laughs> yeah, because my parents are from South America. Right. Okay, so do you? No, I mean, no, but it's like, it's like part of me, you know? It's weird. The timing of your ancestry is weird, no? You've literally never mentioned any of this before, bro. Well, I'm saying it doesn't define me, you well, know? You're suddenly making out like it does, no? Wait, hold up. Do you not believe me or something? You look at the sun for the time and you're saying hello in Navajo. Yeah. I'm just asking questions, bro. I'm just asking questions. Tell me more about your Navajo great, 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 Hey, 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 dude, it's just four greats. That's right. Tell me more about your four greats grandmother. Okay. Uh, well, she was a daughter of a Navajo war chief. And my great, 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 great grandfather met her in Arizona. Arizona? Yeah. Got it. How did they meet? I don't actually know, uh, but I know he was rich. Wait, and he was white, right? Your four greats grandpa was white. Yeah. And you were saying that your Navajo ancestors were oppressed by the white man, right? Yeah. And your Navajo four greats grandma was the daughter of a war chief, right? Correct. Bro, she was kidnapped. What? Dude, no, she wasn't. I'm just saying. Think about it. How do you not know how they met? How could I possibly know that? That's so long ago. Well, you seem to know that she's the daughter of a war chief, though. Wow, okay. No, let's just not, let's not do this. Bro, this is... she was for sure kidnapped. Why are you coming at me like this? We're on the same fucking team. Dude, are you listening to yourself? You claim that you're woke, but you're saying some wild shit. What are you talking about? Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to be the one that breaks this to you. You got the complexion for the protection. What does that even mean? You're white. Understood? Come on, man. Any real problem in your life that you ever had had zero to do with your skin color. Oh. But I'm also Navajo. Nobody fucking knows that. I know you fucking aren't. If we all went back generations, we'd all be a mix of shit. I'm Colombian and even I know it's not about heritage, man. It's about black people being oppressed for centuries because of the color of their skin. You cannot relate. But you need to understand. Man, you need to shut the fuck up and listen. You're white. You're whiter than an episode of Leave it to Beaver. This is not about you. I love Leave it to Beaver. It was a good show. Yeah. 
It is. It is a betrayal. Sorry for snapping, man. No, it's all good. You just gotta be aware of what you're saying. I know. I know. Stay woke, man. No, you fucking stay woke. And nobody fucking says woke anymore. Ah. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> you're not gonna help me with that cavity anymore, are you? What? No, dude. I, I got you. I... I'm sorry, I just say some crazy shit when I feel backed into a corner. I'm sorry, I, I appreciate you. Thank you. Always, bro. You have family in Arizona, you said, right? Yeah. They just removed the Confederate Troops Monument in Phoenix. No shit. I, yeah, I read that they were trying to do that. I'm glad they finally did it. Yeah. <laughs> and look, I... I'm all I'm all for that. But I also read that they're trying to take down Christopher Columbus statues across the country. <laughs> I mean, can you fucking believe that? He he fucking discovered America. Like, dude is a legend. The shit he did for our country is fucking epic. Weren't you the one that just told me the white man raped and pillaged Native Americans? Yeah. You know. That the white man you speak of is Christopher Columbus, right? I, I mean, yeah. No, yeah, dude, no, no. I'm, yes. I'm saying that he's a legend, like he's forever a reminder to my people that he's like, you know, like, uh, he's, you know, a piece of shit. Right. No, that's, that's why I said that the shit he did for our country was epic, because he did a lot of shit, as in bad, for our country. You know, fuck, fuck that guy. It's also called Indigenous Indigenous Day. People's Day. I know, <laughs> like I I know that. Fuck Columbus, dude. My ancestors deserved better. Sure did. Hey man, uh, I'm gonna go. The Yankees game is coming off. <laughs> Dude, fuck the Yankees, man. Indians all day. You heard yourself say that, didn't you? I heard it as soon as I said it.